Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics, and I'm here with you guys today with a new video. So today's video is going to be yet again another Get Ready With Me vlog. Your girl has been out more than usual and I told myself like whenever I have time, I'll say that in quotes whenever I have time and I'm getting ready to go out. I'm going to film a get ready with me vlog just so you guys can see how everything comes together. So that's what we're doing today. I am getting ready today to head to my friend Danasia's birthday festivities. So it's currently 3.07 and it starts at 4 o'clock and it's in Jersey. So I'm running kind of late but I still wanted to record this because today's look is going to be a look. Okay so I know I'm going to get questions. So I was like let me go ahead and film it for you guys. So before we get started make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel channel hit that red subscribe button down below we on the road to 10k so join your girl give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy and drop a comment down below and without further ado let's go ahead and get started so in today's get ready with me vlog i want to show you guys how i kind of do my hair i have braids in but i'm gonna show you guys like how i take care of these edges or whatever i'm gonna do my makeup i'm gonna show you guys my outfits and i'm gonna show you guys the fragrance that i am using today so that's what we finna do. It's 3.07. I told myself I'm trying to leave the house by 3.30. So let's see if we can really do it. It doesn't take me long to do my makeup. So hopefully that can save me. But let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is my edges. I like to do them before my makeup. Just because um, after I do my makeup, things be moving and grooving. And I don't have the time for that. So I'm taking my got to be glued. And I like to use this on my edges. I don't know about y'all. A lot of edge products break your girl out but i do still want to try the um style factor and the kiss so if you guys have tried either of those edge products let me know but i'm just gonna do like some calm swoopy swoopies in my baby hairs i'm gonna take a rat tail comb and i'm just gonna use that to kind of like shape how i want the baby hairs to lay i don't be doing anything too major so y'all looking for dramatic baby hairs and it ain't gonna be here, okay? And I don't put too much product just because this is a heavier styling product compared to like other, well, edge controls. Because this isn't really an edge control, but yeah, I just be doing a little something. Sun. And I still haven't decided how I'm going to style my hair yet. I kind of was feeling like a bun, but at the same time, I kind of felt like I need them bundles dripping on my back. So, we're going to see... What I'm feeling like after I finish my makeup and put my outfit on. Okay, so corn baby hair is nothing too crazy. I told y'all real quick, real quick. Okay, so I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty Hydrating Primer. You guys know I love this primer. I'm not going to use... I'm not going to mix it with the soft matte today just because I think I'm going to use a matte foundation. Then y'all know the deal, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty 410 concealer and just cover my dark spots. I really, really enjoy filming these Get Ready With Me vlogs in case you guys can't tell. Because one, this challenges me to use different um, products when I'm doing my makeup. I'm just using my Laneige Lip Balm. But these videos challenge me to use different makeup because I'm like, I don't want to always record these videos and be using the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Or doing the same thing to my makeup. So I feel like it gives me that push where it's like, okay, girl, like, what else are you going to give us? You're going to always use the same products. You're going to always do the same thing. So I love that for me. Also, oh, 
my skin is peeling from my sunburn i don't know if you guys can see that i was in the shower like why is my shoulder hurting so much i caramba i caramba i caramba i caramba but um yeah so i feel like these videos challenge me in ways that i need to be challenged so i'm trying to do a little one so you know what i'm saying using different things and showing you guys different techniques so hopefully you guys enjoy it too but as that concealer is setting it's 317 i'm gonna go in with my fenty beauty brow mvp wax stick and i'm just gonna prep my brows a little bit i'm trying to like <laughs> Combine steps and some rushing so hopefully i don't come out looking dumb 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 now i'm gonna go in and blend that concealer Yeah, I cannot wait until I get to the point where I can just wear concealer and go like, or tinted moisturizer and go. Like, when that time comes, girl, I'm going to be in my big, my big, 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 big. Okay, but until then, we're going to do this foundation. So, I'm going to go ahead and mix my Lancome 500 Tint Edo Foundation. I'm using this more so for the color match because I have a tan right now. So I put like a pump and a half of that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put what were oh shit. Like half a pump. A little bit more than half a pump of the NARS Soft Matte Foundation. I use this. This is my second time using it. So we're gonna see. The first time I used it, I felt like it was a little too matte for me, but I also think I use a matte primer. I don't remember specifically, but I'm gonna mix that on my hand. And work that in. I feel like the matte foundation dries super quickly. Like, so quick. You gotta be fast, girl. If you guys tried it, let me know your thoughts on the NARS Soft Matte. If you guys want a separate review on that, let me know down below too. But mm, 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 mm. I look kind of dark, but I like that for me just because after I conceal and stuff, it lightens things up. I'm gonna try something a little different today. I actually saw Jackie Ina do this, so you guys know I usually put 390, which is a darker color, on the outside of my highlight areas, and then I'll put 370, which is a lighter color, on the inside. I'm gonna try to put 370 on the outside and put 390 on the inside. So, I just wanted to see, because I was watching Jackie's video this morning, I noticed she did that, and I'm like, let me see what that do for me. So, we seeing what it do for me. Hopefully, I don't look stupid, because I actually have somewhere to go today. That's 370 Fenty Beauty. Now, I'm going to go in with 390 Fenty Beauty Concealer and put that in the middle. Boom, bada, boom, okay? So while that sets, I'm gonna work on my brows. So once again, I'm gonna go back in and I'm just gonna use a wax stick again because I feel like I lost the desired shape of my brows when I was applying my foundation. So I'm just gonna go back in. I usually do this step like now versus before, but I was just trying to rush, girl, acting like it was gonna make a difference. I'm late, I'm still gonna be late and nothing's changing that, so. Ooh, the sun is coming out. I like this product because it makes my eyebrows like more full. I mean, you can't see it now, but after I fill them in, they're more full just because it helps to like spread the areas that the hair is in, if that makes sense. When my brows are just regular, it's just like, Ugh. but then when I put the wax, it's like, Ugh. you know what I'm saying? I had to pause the tunes real quick i kind of wanted to try something different too so i saw Leah's face does this she takes a concealer and sculpts her brows out before she fills them in so i'm gonna do that just because i'm still waiting for the wax to kind of dry down a bit i don't like to apply my um 
my brow product while the wax is still like wet but i'm just gonna carve it. we'll see how we like this because i usually make a mess so it's easier to clean it up after but let's try something new even though i have somewhere to go and i might end up looking stupid <laughs> And I could kind of feel when the wax is dried, like when I am putting my eyebrow product on and it's not like catching on to the pencil. So I wait until it dries down because I feel like that gives me the best coverage. And I've been doing my brows a little different lately. I wanted to tell you guys in the last um, Get Ready With Me vlog. But I literally just go in with a lighter hand and I don't focus too much on making my brows like thicker. Because as I told you guys with the wax stick, it kind of places the hairs where I want them to be. So I basically don't overdraw my brows anymore. I just do. I just fill it in as it is. So with a light hand. I am this on a light hand. But I've been loving how it looks like that. Okay, I'm not 100% in love with my brows right now, but I'm going to try to fix them later. It's already 3.35. <laughs> I'm going to set my face using my Huda Beauty setting powder in the shade Kuna for. And I'm just going to apply that to the areas that I want to be lighter and have more of a pop. Under my eyes. And I'm going to set the concealer on my eyelids since I'm going to apply like a little quote-unquote shadow. I my mouth because I get my smile lines be going crazy. Okay, crazy. And I'm more so setting, not really baking because I don't have top of it. I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Coco Naughty and I'm gonna apply a little bit of that on my eyelid. This is the eyeshadow step that I was saying that I was gonna do. And then I'm going to bronze up my face using my Coco Naughty to snatch her up real quick. Snatch her. Roo, roo. Roo, roo, roo. And I'm putting makeup on my forehead today because I didn't put makeup on my forehead the last time. But your girl is putting makeup on her forehead today. I'm going to highlight. I'm just going to use bronzed from the ABH Glow Kit. Boom, that, that, boom. Okay. Okay. Oh, I also wanted to put some on my brow bone. And in case anyone's wondering, this is a Z palette. I don't remember. I think I got this from Ulta a while ago. The cheetah print Z palette. It's so cute. Ooh, I put a little bit too much, honey. I'm going to set my face using my MAC Fix Plus Setting Spray. Okay, so now I'm going to line my waterline using my One Size Beauty Busty Brown. And I did go ahead and fix my my um eyebrows off camera. Boom. And then I'm going to use my Roller Lash and Mascara. 
and just do my lashes i'm not putting lashes on today i just been loving my natural lashes so i just been putting mascara on okay so lashes are done now i'm gonna go in with some i'm gonna go in with some chestnut lip liner some dry off my lips and then i'm gonna go in with some cookie jar lip um fancy beauty cream gloss balm that is so pretty oh hey and i think i'm gonna let me put my dress on and then i'll be back okay so we checked nasia's location and she's still home so we don't feel as bad that we're running late but this is my final makeup look i think she came out very cute i love this lippy like this if i could wear this every day like look how white it makes my teeth look <laughs> but let me show you guys my outfit so I'm wearing this Tear NYC jacket. This is from a black owned brand. I'm also wearing a Tear NYC dress. This is their mock neck dress. It has their little logo right here. Real cute and simple, but this dress is great quality. I'm wearing my Chloe boots and I'm carrying my Prada bag. So this is the outfit. I'm gonna try to remember to get a video of my outfit and some photos because I definitely forgot the last time. But I will make it happen again, okay? The highlight, popping. So, I'm gonna go to my fragrance corner so we can pick a fragrance. And then I'm gonna head home. Okay, so, for fragrance today, I'm gonna use my YSL Libre. I currently have the travel size of this fragrance, but I do need to get the full size. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it on my neck. Oh, let's swallow that. And behind my legs. I love, oh my god. If y'all don't, if y'all have never smelled YSL Libre before, stop sleeping and go smell her. Go pick her up. I think the travel size is like 30, but I'm going to get the full size. I'm going to get the 1.7 because I smell so good. So good. And I have my little, I put these glasses in my pocket in case I really want to give a look. Then I could really give a look. So let me show y'all. These are from ASOS. I got these recently. I don't want to mess up my makeup too much yet. So, oh, let me put some blotting sheets. Oh, I have some already. Okay, cool. But yeah, so that's basically it for this Get Ready With Me vlog. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you guys think of the look down below. I'll also be including some clips of my outfit after. So make sure you guys watch this video until the end as well as photos. But that's all I have for this video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. And until my next video, I'll see you guys later. Love you.